what up peeps we are back with some more conan and this is actually somewhere i logged off at when me and my buddy dingy were out running around yesterday and i don't know what that is there was there, i don't know i got here at nighttime so maybe he was there but there's a person or something standing up there oh, there's some rock monsters man see i ain't even trying to mess with you we'll get over there and find out who that is karen of the first men is what i just popped up and said uh we're gonna put our Purdy kitty on follow just prepare for what's about to happen so right now we're out still exploring a little bit trying to find baby rhinos and or a new base location but i kind of want to see what this is now just the one oh god there's one right there oh god there's one right here crap Oh my God, I did not think we had that. And I have no heals or anything on me. This is not good. We gotta go get some water as well. We gotta head this way. Which way? Straight this way, okay. Um, nope, we're gonna die if we go that way. All right, let's go this way. So yeah, that was it. There was just some things inside of there. I don't know if there might be like a, might be like a chest or something up there, but I have got to go get some water before we die of dehydration. I can see the water. Uh, there are a lot of cats here. Get out of here, kitty cat. Get out of here. Come on, come on. I know this other cat's gonna come after me, but that's all right. We can kill him too. He can catch these, these axes. Oh, give me some water. The water. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. There's so many of them. Oh, I did not think there was that many. Oh God. I ran away too far. Oh man. They're teaming up on my pretty kitty. Pretty kitty. Rack him up, pretty kitty. Yeah, get him, Purdy Kitty. Purdy Kitty, you the best. <laughs> I just fucking died. Yep, that just happens. Don't let your dangle 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 in the dirt. Oh my god, Purdy Kitty, you're the freaking best. Get him, Purdy Kitty. You get time for your shit. You can't. Oh God! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, leave me alone. All right, let's harvest these freaking bodies. Yeah, 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 bro. I think I found a rhino baby. Yo, bro, I got a rhino baby. Okay, hurry up. I'm covered. We'll put the rhino baby if inside you, of you. Well, yeah, if you want to meet back up at the base, um, I'll go back out with you this time. Dude, that is crazy that you can put freaking. Dude, there's another one, I think. Oh, that's a. Uh, is that one? No, that's a big one. All right, we made it home. Did not get to uh, find a place to build a base yet, but I did get something a little bit better than that. And what I have inside of Purdy Kitty, we have ourselves a rhino calf and a sturdy fowl now, but we are not going to put them down yet because we don't have any horse pens that are open. We have two that are currently occupied. Um, and then the rhino requires the bigger um, taming pen, so we need something larger than that. And I don't want to build anything else here. I don't want to put up any new buildings or anything. Um, but I do want to hurry up and get moving because we have, I brought back a crazy amount of hide and it is going to take forever for all this to, you know, to craft. But if we build something bigger, we can just put down a whole bunch of these things and be able to get this moving a little bit quicker. So I am definitely going to be going back out to find ourselves a base location today. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen this thing. Like when it's getting ready to start. Oh my God, it's open spiders. But we don't want to get too close to the center because I want to understand it gets pretty crazy with that thing right there. But I do want these spiders though. I do need some silk. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's so nasty. So nasty. Mm, that's not how we get silk, huh? Okay. I'm not tracking that. And I need to put my bed back up. And let's keep on going. But it's kind of a bad time, so I think we might just stay over here towards the beach. It is really cool how the winds look like when you're up here near the storm. Look at this. This is crazy. It's getting crazy out here. All right, so I legit cannot do anything at all while the storm's like this. So we're just going to sit here for a minute. So I just have, saw an achievement go off that said, enter the maelstrom. So I'm assuming I'm in it. Um, so yeah, 
which I obviously I, I saw all this, but I didn't really think I was technically in the maelstrom. But since we are, we are gonna get out of here. Oh my God! What in the world is that? Oh my God! Is this because we're in the maelstrom? Let's get out of here. Oh my God! Let's get the hell out of here, dude! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! Can't stop! Won't stop! Can't stop! Won't stop! We made it out of this thing. Holy crap! There was a couple other things in up trying to chase us too, but yeah, that was kind of crazy. So uh, I think we're gonna just come over here. This is kind of the area I want to go to anyway. Is over here. I'm um, trying to find a place, maybe like down here or something. But we're pretty far away from the base. So hopefully, I'm hoping that by the time we find a place to start building and then get back to the old base, our horses will be done, and then we'll be able to use those to just grab up most of the important stuff and just keep making trips back and forth. There is some kind of tower right over there that we passed that we're not going to mess with. Oh, look, there's something else over there, too. Oh, my God. The sun finally is coming up. Look, and it clears out. I tried to catch a little bit of it, but yeah. So it, when the red storm goes away, it gets like really, really super bright. And then it goes away and bam, that thing comes back. So we're back to normal. So now we can go back to trying to find a base. I have been sitting out here on the beach for a good maybe hour, two hours, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So I thought we had to get silk from these spiders, but it doesn't actually drop off them. So I wonder if we got to get it from this. That spider's going to come at me. Oh, oh, there's two of them. Get them, party kitty. Oh, party kitty, help me out. Very cute. What the heck? Now go help me this time. That was weird. But I'm stuck now. So I know there's one of those big giant spiders down there, and I am not messing around with that. But we are going to pick up Pretty Kitty and climb on up here real quick. Oh, look at that big old son bitch over there. Yeah, we're not going that direction so we put in i put in a little bit of work and i forgot to record a little bit of the stuff but we do have a base over here done or not done it's nowhere near done we still have quite a few buildings to put down we need like a taming pan we need to you know there's a lot of stuff we need to work on i was trying to have this whole like design of doing like i don't know like wood on the outer part and then stone in the middle i thought it would look cool but it definitely does not look as good as i was thinking it was going to be Let's bring him in. Come on in. Oh, come on, man. Come on this way, dude. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, party kitty. You can come inside. What? What the hell? The door's wide open. What are you doing? Oh my God, pretty kitty, you're so dumb. Pick up and stand guard. There we go. All right, garden. So this is what we've got done so far. And again, nowhere near done. We still have quite a few other buildings to put, but this is a start to what is now going to be our new home which we didn't even move that far i decided to just come over here it wasn't that far i was like you know what if anything we're only going to build something that's got enough room for what we need it for so we can move around all we need but if we need to we can always build another temporary base all around the maps and different corners and stuff but this is this location's base and i just need to finish getting everything started and um put away oh god i did not mean to pick all that up we're gonna put this over here though so i'm actually going to run with my buddy poon he's actually on right now helping me we're grabbing everything from my old base and just running everything here and then we'll cut back when we got everything put in place because that's kind of like the monotonous stuff so a bit of an update i have done quite a bit more to the base we are actually in not a terrible spot but not the best spot because we are actually within the distance of the storm so whenever the storm happens those uh creatures the monsters from the storm actually come to our base but i don't mind that because that means when we actually tame some thralls they'll actually have some worth so we're actually be able to put some archers and stuff up because you know they actually defend our base and stuff against the the npcs which i thought would be pretty cool so right now i'm actually just finishing up the roof up here um i'll show you guys down here I haven't really done much here yet, but we do have 
this gate still we got our areas over here and we have almost moved everything from the old base to over here except for the taming pens and all that type of stuff we were kind of leaving that for last minute and i think we're actually just going to leave it until they're done completely taming there so yeah we'll just go get those guys eventually but i just want to give you guys a quick update and show you what we've done oh there's my buddy poon he's out there doing stuff and things so we're just gonna keep on farming and finish up the base real fast so we have a press band box up now but one issue that we're actually dealing with right now is that in the storm every single time a storm comes the only spot we've been able to find for our taming pins have been right here but every time a storm comes even though the storm is not supposed to do any damage it's doing damage and it's deleting our uh taming pins every time and i'm getting really sick and tired of having to keep continuously craft the same ones over and over again but for now i did grab some more armor so we now have this we now have our own unique look we look completely different than my buddy poon i think this outfit looks freaking sick look at me look at me i said look at me look how cool i look look at the band with a shield all oh, winning that oh that's my bow a shield and an axe yes oh my god look at this so i got pretty upset that when i came back all my stuff was broken again so me and my buddy poon decided to go on a little bit of a grinding spree and decided to grind out the resources and put down a 20 by 20 square platform we have you know our cats stuff back here i don't know what i did this for i just got tired of having to place foundations everywhere so i just left these lowered um well, we got horse pins got some horses that are complete got some taming pins all the taming pins everything's up here so we should be good and they should not despawn anymore um at least they shouldn't they should have despawned in the first place but it did but yeah i just want to jump back real quick show you guys we now have a freaking horse so i think me and poon are gonna go on a little running spree and try to find some babies so i don't know exactly where my clips left off at for this episode i'm working on but we've had some stuff happen since then um i'll come outside and you guys can maybe be able to tell because just a couple seconds ago our base area looked a little bit different than this we have moved our base location from over here in this area wherever it was to over here so we were like right over in this location i'm gonna move it over here to get us just outside the circle when it lands um, because when we got on all of our stuff right here was gone all of our stables all of our teams all of our all this stuff was gone we've had to redo all of this I'm luckily just luckily we have babies and yeah it's been really really frustrating constantly having to rebuild our taming pens and having to constantly reuse the same resources over and over again so I'm really hoping that now we're in a good spot we should be okay and nothing should with us over here so let's just hope i didn't really think that recording me building the new base was really necessary because we just did that in the first episode we worked on stuff and then let and then even earlier in this episode we were working on another base um so i just kind of figured you know what instead of just trying to go through over working on a new area we were just going to go ahead and do it and knock it out because i had to get done because i did not want to stay there any longer and risk losing the rest of our stuff because everything was crashing down but it does look a lot different so when we come up here uh, this is my room or actually i think this is poon's room my room is over here made some lanterns and stuff so i got my little bed got a box in here for myself got all the tables and everything put up i do need to make more tables we need to make a lot more tables and everything but we got all the forges the smithies down here we actually have a freaking elevator now i thought it was freaking sweet and then we got a little cooking area over here for us to hang out i got a little press box and yeah it's not too bad it's just now it's a matter of running over there and getting everything because we got all this stuff done still but this guy right here makes things a whole lot easier we can put the elephant on follow and he'll just trot along and you know help us carry everything back over here so let me just get that whole process done with i got a little bit more of an update for you guys just a quick one to show you guys all the stuff has moved everything is over here we have ourselves a couple things this is the magic of of time travel aka streaming so i was actually streaming me playing some conan me and my buddy poon and we did some things he got ourselves he got us a cat got ourselves a tiger we got two saber teeths now we got some horses you can see two horses inside the pins 
I don't think we got anything else, brother. We got the elephant still. We got two camels now that we got over in this area, which is a trade trading camp. There's a bunch of NPCs up there. I'm probably show you guys sometime. Then we got ourselves a couple freaking thralls finally. Got ourselves an archer right here. Need to give him a bow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you just sit here and you be a badass. Yes. Then we got a bow. Then we got a, a relic hunter bearer right here. Which I believe means I just take this person around and they will uh, carry stuff for me. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out. We're going to bring this guy with us. We're going to take the horse. We're just going to go hunting for ourselves a little bit of resources. Holy crap. We have a lot of honey. I don't know if you can actually have an animal and a thrall following you at the same time. We're about to find out. Nope. Oh, okay. Pretty kitty won't go, but this guy will. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take Pretty Kitty with us because Pretty Kitty will aggressively kill the crap out of something. And we need a bunch of meat, so that's actually gonna be the first thing we do real quick. Is we have no meat in here for either the Thames or the Thralls, so I don't want these guys dying. So we're gonna go get a whole bunch of food real fast. Food is now restocked. I've cooked up a bunch of fish, a bunch of meat. All these guys good to go. I got a whole bunch of uh, fish over here as well. Got a bunch there. I went ahead and grabbed all the traps and I just killed a bunch of animals while I was out. Now, the plan for us is to go in this little area here and just kind of check it out. I know there's like a temple or something, I think like right there. Yeah, we're going to check out this little location and just see. And with that being done, I think that means it is time for me to see if I can get Poon on and let's go do a dungeon. My plan right now is for us to be able to, at the end of every episode, possibly, if we know if we're, if we're progressing fast enough, is at least every other episode is doing a dungeon at the end. So one that I know that I can probably go back and do is, I think this one? No. This one right here. We can go back to this one because this is the one where we went into it in the beginning of the server. And it was glitched or something because there was like no creatures. There was only a few creatures. Um, and I think Poon had already killed them out. And then there was one chest that was already open. It had nothing again. it. So we're going to try to go back and see if maybe it's good now. Because I don't know how these dungeons in this game work. I don't think they reset from what I've seen with me and Poon. Is that pretty much once you've gone into a dungeon and um, ran through it to the end, it does not regenerate. It doesn't reset or anything, which is kind of kind of weird, right? Like I kind of feel like that. That's odd. You don't get a lot of really good gear or anything by going back and doing uh, bosses, right? Like you, you unlock more feet points and stuff to be able to, you know, get more of these. Um, but you don't really get a whole lot of like actual drops from them. So they could easily just let you run back through and kill everything without getting more feet points the second time, right? Um, but I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I just, ours was glitched or something, but we're going to go back and check. All right, meow. And to be safe, let's put down our bed. Good old boy. Oh, come on. Come on. Give me a spot. Give me a spot. Here we go. Bam. Let's do it right here. All right. Give me my horse. You, sir. Sit right there. Come on, pretty kitty. Let's go. Where's the salt real quick? And then put my bandages down here. We're about to... Oh, no. Dang it. Dang it. I hate when I do that. I always forget that you got to freaking hold E to get into the inventory. All right. Let's go.
right, peeps. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that dungeon run. That was actually really, really fun. Me and Poon, I was able to get Poon to come in towards the latter half, so he actually had to fight the boss with me. But unfortunately, as you can see, we killed the boss off screen, so I apologize about that. But that's going to be it. So, remember, if you enjoyed the content, leave that like, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button. All the support is greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>